Like many college campuses, the UI has a district steam heating system. At the heart of the system is a steam plant that produces all the steam used to heat the core buildings on campus. What makes this steam distribution system unique is that it can use either biomass or natural gas for its fuel type. The steam plant produces over 250 million pounds of steam a year. 90% or more of that steam comes from the use of biomass, and the remaining comes from the use of natural gas. After the wood chips are delivered to the steam plant, they are moved into the fuel silo by a series of conveyors, augers, and elevators. The silo at the steam plant can hold about 20 truckloads of wood chips. During the coldest days of winter, we consume that much fuel in less than two days. When the wood is burned, the combustion gases reach temperatures as high as 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit. As these combustion gases flow through the boiler, the heat energy transfers to the water and converts it to steam. The steam we make at the steam plant is used in the core buildings on campus, and to get it there, it travels through miles of pipe within an underground tunnel system. So they're not letting any cars down here, and then they've taken this crime scene tape, which is uh, for the house right here, and it used to drop off the driveway. And for now, they've, they've just kind of stretched it here, and they're taking pictures uh, here in the road. Now, as we, before we jump to conclusions, this could be just normal documentation, police showing uh, skid marks that they may have left uh, while they were turning around, or this could be something else. They are broadening the crime scene. Uh, there's crime scenes tape up around the home, and what we are now finding is that part of the parking lot itself is being uh, broadened off as part of the crime scene. The simple question is this, um, sure, seeing an HVAC uh, repair person showing up underneath crime tape and going into an active crime scene raises a lot of eyebrows. Could it be as simple as they needed to just keep the heat on, or could an investigator actually seek the professional assistance of somebody who knows air ducts and air systems? One of the main things that college students like to do is investigate the steam tunnels. There's hundreds and hundreds of miles of steam tunnels that run underneath universities.